Hi. Today I'll show you how to use states without a condition in Replo to add custom interactivity to your website. Inside this product component, I have a free product promo section that I'd like to control manually. Right now, the tote image, which is the free product users will receive, is always visible and doesn't respond to any user interactions. I'd like to show the image only when users click on the Claim Free Product button and add the product to user's cart as well when they click Add to Cart. We can accomplish this by creating a custom state that has no trigger condition and adding an Activate State interaction to the Claim Free Product button to manually trigger the state. I'll start by selecting the component that contains both the Free Product Promo and the Add to Cart button and add a custom state called Claimed Free Gift. For the show if field, I won't select a condition and leave it as is, since we will be manually triggering this state. I'll switch back to the default state and select the tote image. I don't want the image to show initially, so let's turn the image's visibility off. Let's also add an activate state interaction to the claim free product button. Now, whenever users click the button, it will activate the claimed free gift state. To have the tote image only be visible when the claimed free gift state is selected, I'll switch back to the claimed free gift state and enable the component's visibility. I also want to indicate to users that they have already claimed the gift, so I'll change the claim free gift button text to say free gift claimed. The final thing is to add the product to user's cart, only if they've claimed their gift. With the claimed free gift state still selected, let's add another interaction to the add to cart button. This will be another add product to cart interaction and I'll choose the tote product. I also have a variant for the tote product in Shopify with the price set to $0.00, that way customers won't be charged for the item. Now, whenever customers have claimed their gift and add the hoodie to cart, both the hoodie and their tote are added to their carts. However, if I switch back to the default state, you'll see that there is only one add product to cart interaction on the button. This is the intended purpose, since we don't want customers who haven't clicked the claim free gift button to receive the free tote. While using states in this fashion is great, it can lead to complex site setups that are harder to manage and debug. Everything should be working fine now, and the image now only shows after a user clicks the button. I'll now add the hoodie to my cart and see if the free tote shows up as well. As you can see, both the hoodie and the tote are here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team or leave a comment in the description.